it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Where's my actual stylist? Are you like the assistant or something? No, um, I don't have an assistant. <laughs> you just don't look like a stylist. I mean, are you, are you sure you're qualified? I hate to inform you, but my look does not determine my qualifications. My licensing does, and I, it just kind of, it makes me feel a little uncomfortable because like, you don't have like the wide brim hat, the hair down to your waist, like the, the heels, the skirt, like you, you don't have the look, so I don't know if I'm comfortable going to you. So you mean to tell me that you're gonna judge me off my hair's ability to tickle you while you lay in the shampoo bowl? I feel like that says more about you than it does me. Also, standing all day long um, in heels, Absolutely not. I would rather not have pain in my body for the rest of my life just because I want to look like a stylist. Nope, not gonna happen. All right, well, I guess I'll let you do my hair. <laughs> no, you're full of jokes. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay, so you don't have all the mental brain cells. I said I will let you do my hair. And I said, get out. You're not gonna talk to me that way. Bye bye. This is not how you grow a business. If you're wanting to grow a business properly, I can help you, but this is ridiculous. You're not supposed to treat customers like this. Let me understand this a little bit better. So you're gonna come up into my workplace and insult the way I look, the person who's supposed to be putting chemicals into your hair, then insult my business and how I'm running it. Absolutely not. I don't allow people to treat me that way, so get out. Who do you think you are? Mm, I think I'm the stylist who's not doing your hair and instead going to get lunch and coffee for everyone in the salon. I hope you have the day deserved. Bye-bye. I wanna speak to the owner.